Hello everyone, welcome back to the Humble Coder. I am Rahul and in today's video we are going to explore a crucial concept in React.js that is conditional rendering. When you are new to React or looking to enhance your skills, understanding how to conditionally render the content can significantly improve your application's user experience. So in this video we are going to dive into conditional rendering. So before starting the video, let's discuss what are the points that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we are going to see what is conditional rendering. The next thing that we are going to see is different approaches of conditional rendering like if statement, ternary operator, logical and operator or sh short circuit operator as we say in JavaScript and other one is conditional rendering with components. And at the end of the video, we are going to see an interview question based on conditional rendering. So first of all, Let's understand what is conditional rendering. So what exactly is conditional rendering? Well, it is the process of displaying different content or components in your React application based on certain conditions. So now let us look at the different approaches with by which we can do conditional rendering. So the first approach involves using traditional if statements. You can wrap your components with these statements to render different content depending on conditions. So in this example, you can see we have a if condition and inside the if condition we have taken a constant or variable if it is true then we will simply this uh, render this component that is user dashboard else uh, if the value of is logged in is false then we will go to the else condition and we will render this login form component so in this way conditionally we are rendering based on the value of is logged in so if is logged in is true, we are going to display the component user dashboard. And if it is false, we are going to display login form component. Now let us see the next approach, which is by using ternary operator. A more concise approach is using the ternary operator. It is great for simpler conditions. So here we are doing the same thing that we have done by using if condition. It is just that in single line, we are writing the same code. So here what we are doing is we are returning based on the is logged in value. If it is true, we will re uh, return our user dashboard component. And if it is false, we will return login form component. Now let us look at logical and operator. And this is also called as short circuit operator in JavaScript. So the logical and operator can be used for even simpler conditions. So suppose take an example where you just have an if condition and there is no else condition. So for example, if your is logged in is true, then only you have to display your user dashboard. Otherwise, in all other scenarios, you don't have to do anything. So in that case, you can make use of logical and operator. So this is also very much helpful. Moving on conditional rendering with components. So you can also conditionally render the entire components. So this we have already seen. It is just that to bring your attention to this thing. I have taken it as a separate point. We have already seen that how to render components based on conditions. So this is going to be very helpful when you build your projects because there might be very scenarios where you have to conditionally render your components based on certain conditions. Okay, moving on. Now let us see an example of conditional rendering. So what I have done over here is I have created two components. Okay. First one is my user dashboard and the second one is login form.js. Now in the user dashboard, I'll write a simple code using the snippet RFCE. What this will do is this will give me a basic uh, functional component code. And in the login form also, I'll run this snippet and I have the basic code over here also basically what the code is it is just displaying the component name okay now in the app.js we are going to write our conditional statement so first of all what we are doing is we are creating a variable is logged in and we are setting its value to true now we are checking if the value of is logged in is true then we will show or render user dashboard component and if the value of is logged in is false in that case we will return login form component so i hope you have now understood the code once i save this code and run the npm start then in the local dashboard you can see user dashboard is printed which means that our logged is logged in value is true that is why it is returning user dashboard component now let me change the value of it from true to false and once i save it now it should show login form so you can see login form component is being rendered now. So
सो इन दिस वे कंडीशनल रेंडरिंग वर्क्स सो गाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू लेट यू नो दैट हाउ कैन यू एक्सेस द कोड विच आई एम डूइंग इन द वीडियोज सो यू जस्ट हैव टू गो टू द रिपोजिटरी सेक्शन ऑन माई गिटअप प्रोफाइल एंड यू विल फाइंड अ रिएक्ट टूटोरियल रिपोजिटरी वंस यू गो टू दैट रिपोजिटरी यू विल यू हैव टू गो टू द कमिट सेक्शन ऑफ दैट रिपोजिटरीज सो यू कैन सी करंटली देर आर एट कमिट्स वैन यू गो टू द कमिट सेक्शन ऑफ दैट रिपोजिटरी यू विल फाइंड द कमिट्स विद द नेम ऑफ द वीडियो एंड द वीडियो नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज वीडियो टेन कंडीशनल रेंडरिंग सो वैन यू विल क्लिक ऑन दिस कमिट यू विल गेट ऑल द कोड्स दैट आई हैव रिटर्न इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द फाइल्स रिलेटेड टू द चेंजेस इन दिस वीडियो यू जस्ट कैन गो हेयर that is browse the repository and go to the file a specific file that you want to access so in this way you can access the code which i am doing in the video I, so now it is the time to look at interview question based on conditional rendering so the question for today is can we use states and props as conditionals in conditional rendering so the answer for this is yes we can use states and props as conditionals in conditional rendering let's look at this with an example so first of all let's see how can we use states for conditional for example here in this example we have simply created an state and the state is is logged in and its value we have set initially as false now what we are doing is whenever at the time of taking the variable name we are taking that state name using this dot state is logged in and whenever whatever its value is based on that we are rendering two components that is our user dashboard and login form so in this way that is based on states we can render our conditionals values next is conditional rendering based on props so in this props also we can do the similar way so suppose we have a component welcome message which is accepting a prop from its parent component now based on this prop we are taking the value of is logged in so we will check props dot is logged in which means that this will take the value of is logged in from its parent component and if it is true then we will simply display the message welcome back and if it is false we will simply display the message please log in so i hope now you have got the understanding how how conditional rendering is done based on states and props and this was the interview question for today so to wrap up understanding conditional rendering is essential for creating dynamic and user friendly react applications as you can see there are various approaches to achieve this so choose the one that fits best for your project thank you for joining me today to explore conditional rendering in react js if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comments below until next time happy coding